Vermont state investigators found dangerous levels of the chemical PFOA in hundreds of wells like Candy Rousseau's. Well, when it all first came out, it was really kind of scary because you didn't really know much about PFOA. For over a year now, Rousseau and many of her neighbors have been using bottled water for nearly everything. You know, the state, the health department, everybody's trying to figure out, you know, what is this and what what do we need to do about it? This week, state officials reached a settlement with St. Cobain, the company they think is responsible for the contamination. We will bring clean drinking water to everybody affected in Bennington County, period. During this community meeting Wednesday night, state officials told neighbors that St. Cobain will pay $20 million for a public water line for about 200 homes. Good news for many, but not Candy Rousseau. Her home falls outside this area. She says the state has looked at her well several times. And the last visit we got was, was um, regarding the possibility of putting in a drilled well because we're outside of that um, area. As part of their deal with the state, St. Cobain is also required to look into ways to get safe drinking water to neighbors like Rousseau. Construction on the municipal water line starts this fall. In North Bennington, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.